السلام علیکم آئی ایم شاہ سعود اینڈ یو آر واچنگ ایزی انجینئرنگ ٹوٹوریلز ٹوڈے وی ول ٹاک اباؤٹ ڈی ٹرمینیسی اینڈ این ڈی ٹرمینیسی آف اسٹرکچر وی ول آلسو لرن اباؤٹ ڈی ٹرمینیسی اینڈ این ڈی ٹرمینیسی آف بین اینڈ ایڈیشن وی ول ڈسکس دا ان نون ریئیکشن فورسز فار ڈفرینٹ سپورٹ آف اے بین بٹ بفور موئنگ آن ٹو دا ویڈیو If you not subscribe to our YouTube channel yet, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon. And if you are watching our video from Facebook, so above the video there is a link to our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on it. Thank you. So what is statically determinacy and indeterminacy of structure? When all the unknown reaction forces in a member or in a structure can be analyzed, can be computed, determined or point by using equation of equilibrium only, then the structure is said to be determinate structure and the property of the structure is called determinacy. What is indeterminate structure? When all the unknown forces in a structure cannot be determined, cannot be computed, analyzed or point by using equation of equilibrium only, but extra equation is required to analyze the structure, then the structure is said to be indeterminate structure and the property of the structure is called indeterminacy. So let's see statically determinate structure when all the unknown reaction in a structure can be defined only by using equation of static equilibrium the structure is said to be statically determinate structure agar kisi structure mein jo unknown reaction forces hai اس کو ہم صرف اور صرف اکویشن آف اکویلیبریم کی مدد سے پائن کرے تو اس قسم کے سٹرکچر کو ہم سٹیٹیکلی ڈی ٹرمینیٹ سٹرکچر کہیں گے ابھی یہ انون ریاکشن پورسز کون سی پورسز ہے یہ بعد میں ہم ڈسکس کریں گے ناو وٹ از سٹیٹیکلی این ڈی ٹرمینیٹ سٹرکچر When all the unknown forces in a structure cannot be determined, computed, point by using equation of equilibrium only, but extra equation is required to analyze the structure, then the structure is called indeterminate structure. Agar kisi structure mein jo unknown reaction hai, agar isko hum equation of equilibrium کی مدد سے پائنٹ نہ کرے بلکہ ایکسٹرا ایکویشن کی ضرورت ہو سٹرکچر کو انالائز کرنے کے لیے یعنی انون ریاکشن فورسز کو پائنٹ کرنے کے لیے تو اس قسم کی سٹرکچر کو ہم سٹیٹیکلی این ڈی ٹرمینیٹ سٹرکچر کہیں گے ناو سٹیٹیکلی این ڈی ٹرمینیٹ سٹرکچر تین ٹائپس ہے یا تو وہ ایکسٹرنل این ڈی ٹرمینیٹ ہوگا یا انٹرنل این ڈی ٹرمینیٹ ہوگا یا بوت ایکسٹرنل این انٹرنل این ڈی ٹرمینیٹ ہوگا تو ابھی ایکسٹرنل این ڈی ٹرمینیٹ سٹرکچر کونسی سٹرکچر ہے اف دا نمبر آف ریاکشن فورسز ایکسیڈ ٹو دا نمبر آف ایکویشن آف ایکویلیبریم then the structure is said to be external and determinate structure اگر کسی structure میں جو unknown reaction forces کی تعداد ہے number ہے اگر وہ equation of equilibrium سے زیادہ ہو جائے exceed ہو جائے تو اس قسم کے structure کو ہم external and determinate structure کہیں گے Now what is internal and determinate structure? If all the unknown reaction forces can be defined, can be determined, 
by using equation of equilibrium but it is not possible to determine the internal forces in all the member by using equation of equilibrium then the structure is said to be internally indeterminate structure abhi internal indeterminate structure kaun si structure hai agar kisi structure mein hum unknown reaction ki numbers equation of equilibrium ki madad se find kare magar ye mumkin na ho ke jo internal members hai aur usme jo unknown reactions hai इसको भी हम इक्वेशन ऑफ इक्विलिब्रियम की मदद से फाइन करें तो इस किस्म के स्ट्रक्चर को हम एक्सटर्नल इनडिटर्मिनेट स्ट्रक्चर कहेंगे नाउ व्हाट इज स्टेटिकली डिटर्मिनेसी एंड इनडिटर्मिनेसी ऑफ बीम तो बीम की स्टेटिक डिटर्मिनेसी और इनडिटर्मिनेसी को फाइन करने के लिए आपने ये तीन फार्मूले लाजमी याद रखना है The first formula is if R is equal to 3n, then the beam is called statically determinate beam. And if R is greater than 3n, then the beam is said to be statically indeterminate beam. And if R is less than 3n, then the beam is said to be unstable beam. Now, what is R? What is 3? And what is n? So, R is the number of reactions. कौन सी reactions? आपने ये तीन support लाजिमी याद रखना है क्योंकि ये बहुत ज़्यादा लाजिमी है. Pick support, ruler support, our hinge support. A pick support three unknowns reaction provide करेगा. The first one must be in y direction. एक एक्स डायरेक्शन में प्रोवाइड करेगा और एक मूवमेंट प्रोवाइड करेगा इसी तरह एक रूलर सपोर्ट एक अननोन फोर्स प्रोवाइड करेगा वो भी एलॉन्ग वाई एक्सेस और एक हिंद सपोर्ट टू अननोन रिएक्शन फोर्सेस प्रोवाइड करेगा एक वाई डायरेक्शन में और एक एक्स डायरेक्शन में तो आपने ये लाजमी याद रखना है के पिक सपोर्ट थ्री अननोन्स प्रोवाइड करता है रूलर सपोर्ट एक अननोन्स प्रोवाइड करेगा और इसी तरह एक हिंद सपोर्ट दो अननोन प्रोवाइड करेंगे नाउ इन इज द नंबर ऑफ मेंबर एंड थ्री इज इक्वेशन ऑफ इक्विलिब्रियम एंड ऑफ कोर्स दिस इज थ्री Summation of all forces along x axis is equal to zero. Summation of forces along y axis is equal to zero, and summation of all moment is equal to zero. Example number one. If one side of the beam is hinged, and other side of the beam is ruler, तो हमें ये point करना है कि ये beam डिटर्मिनेट है एन डिटर्मिनेट है और अनस्टेबल है तो फार्मूला तो मैंने पहले भी बताया है आर इज इक्वल टू थ्री एन सो नंबर ऑफ अनोन रिएक्शन फोर्सेस वन साइड ऑफ द बीम इज हिंज्ड सो इज आई ऑलरेडी सेड दैट हिंज सपोर्ट प्रोवाइड टू अनोन रिएक्शन one along y axis and the other one along x axis so for hence support there is two unknown so hence support ke liye do unknown reaction forces our ruler support ke liye ek unknown reaction so the number of r is 1 2 3 so the number of r is 3 is equal to 3 and to n We are n is the number of member, and the member is of course one. So multiplied by one, so three is equal to three. So in this case, this R is equal to three n. If R is equal to three n, then the beam is statically determinate beam. So this beam is statically determinate beam. Now let's move to example number two. 
if both sides of the beam is hinged, is I already said that hinge support provides two unknown reaction forces. So two unknown reaction forces at one end of the beam and two unknown reaction forces at other side of the beam. So the number of our unknown reaction forces is 4 is equal to 3 and to n and the number of member is 1 so multiplied by 1 so 4 is greater than 3 so if r is greater than 3 then the beam is said to be statically and determinate beam if both sides of the beam is fixed as you know that Fix support provide three unknown reactions. So both sides of the beam is fixed. So, so three unknown reaction at, at one side of the beam and three unknown reaction at other side of the beam. So the number of unknown reaction is six. So six is equal to three and two. The number of member is one multiplied by one. So six is greater than three. If R is greater than 3N, then the beam is said to be statically n determinate beam. So this is also a type of n determinate beam. Now example number 4. If both sides of the beam is ruler, both sides of the beam is ruler, and you know that ruler support provide one unknown reaction force, if at upward direction, so one unknown reaction force at one side of the beam and one unknown reaction force at other side of the beam because both sides of the beam having ruler support, the formula is R is equal to 3N and the number of R is 2 is equal to 3N to N and number of member is 1. So 2 is less than 3. If R is less than 3, then the beam is said to be unstable beam.